Welcome back to my channel. We do a lot of cybersecurity videos on this channel. That's where IT organizations need to focus, in my opinion. But IT departments also must take the lead on introducing new technology to move the business forward to achieve its business objectives. We're going to discuss some very remarkable developments in virtual meeting technology today. If you're interested in being a strategic technology leader, I hope this video provides some food for thought. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of my employer. Hybrid workplaces where employees move between working remotely and a corporate office environment is here to stay. Employees who are not required to be on site will have this option for the long term. Admittedly, there are some short-term considerations that are driving organizations to bring employees back to a corporate office environment in the moment. But maintaining the same office space for a hybrid workforce seems unlikely. Leaders want employees occupying these spaces so they can get the cultural benefits of in-person working. Since most office leases expire in five to ten year terms, change will come slowly. These leases need to age out. And as they mature, it's highly likely that companies will begin to reduce their corporate leases to accommodate a flexible workforce. This will take time, but over time, the hybrid work environment will be reinforced by reduced real estate investments made by businesses. The technologies that have enabled work from home are not quite ready to support the strong relationship, mentoring, and managing that normally happen in an in-person environment. But the tech will catch up. We'll talk about some of those advances in this video. But today, technology is not fully supportive of building a corporate culture that we experience in a physical office environment. Admittedly, some cultures improved when everyone was remote, but most cultures changed for the lack of personal interaction. Certainly, management by walking around was impossible, and the new employees missed a lot of mentorship opportunities. On the other hand, worker empowerment has taken off. Workers have learned to adapt to remote setting and productivity by many measures has improved dramatically. So has employee quality of life. Eliminating the commute has expanded the productive time during the day, and employees have discovered ways that they can work when they are most productive. Many have refused to return to the office full time. When employers need to make work from home accommodations to keep and hire key staff, they will generally have to make similar accommodations for the entire rank and file. I don't see us going back, and honestly, I think we'll gain a stronger society and stronger communities in the process. For this grand vision to happen, we need some better tools. Tools that allow interpersonal relationships to flourish, for bonds to grow between employees, but also between customers and business partners through virtual interactions. Tools must foster inclusivity and fight meeting fatigue. For example, in a recent survey, Cisco found that almost half of online meeting participants didn't speak during the meeting. It's hard to call them participants. They were just attendees. We need ways to ensure participation from all in order to be at our best. While we've grown very accustomed to the web meeting environment, there are also some very cool developments making their way to the market. Let's take a look at some new enhancements that are currently available or are coming in the future. I do have to caution that these enhancements are not going to be available across the board at the same time. You'll have to decide which enhancements you want to, de to deliver to which use cases or which personas within your office. I'd be happy to help with those evaluations. I'll talk to you about how you can do that or how we can do that at the end of this video. So, what's new and cool and most importantly useful in, these, in the area of remote meetings? First, and this is a long-term prediction on my part, but my crystal ball shows a virtual office environment simulating a physical environment where you can virtually walk the halls and virtually stop into a coworker space for a conversation. Think metaverse for corporate offices. It's coming in the not too distant future. I think it's gonna be really cool and very advantageous. Second, and currently available, real-time meeting transcriptions. Online meetings can be chaotic. There can be overtalk where two people are speaking simultaneously and you can't make out what either person is saying. Attendees in their home office can be distracted by something in their surroundings or anyone can check out momentarily to scan an interesting email that just hit their inbox. Late arrivals either delay the start of the meeting or need to be brought up to speed on what's transpired before they join. To address these issues, what if real-time transcription was available that accurately documented what was said by each participant? You could quickly understand both parties in an overtalk situation 
If you were momentarily distracted, you could scan the transcription to get caught up. And if you are late coming into the meeting, you can scan the notes prior or as soon as you join to slide into the conversation without wasting the other participants' time. Of course, a transcription of the meeting is way better than a recording for documenting what was said. Transcriptions are better for the basic reason that transcriptions can be searched and therefore are much more likely to be used to find key comments and interaction in the future. Lastly, transcriptions will offer greater accessibility to the hearing impaired and real-time transcription will lead to real-time translation into different languages, opening meetings to divergent cultures without the delay and expense of a live interpreter. Third, enhancements to virtual presentations. Webinars are becoming more and more important, not just for marketing lead generation efforts, but for corporate meetings, training, and other forms of one-way communication. Surveys and other audience participation tools are becoming more intuitive, driving important feedback to the organization. Pre-recording presentation elements of a webinar allows for the elimination of technology glitches and enhanced professional presentation. The presenters should still be live participants during the event so they are available to answer questions and fill in context. But recording a presentation will really up uh, the, the professionalism of these events. Fourth, whiteboarding. Now, whiteboarding is not really new, but the whiteboarding capabilities are improving dramatically. You can start with your whiteboarding session in a traditional blank canvas approach, or you can pull up a schematic, a PowerPoint slide, or any other document and start drawing. Drawing will be much more productive and intuitive than we've had in the past. Fifth, participant reactions. Participant reactions are not new to many platforms. We've mentioned surveys. There are also the emoji-based feedback tools. These feedback mechanisms will become more common but AI will begin to be leveraged and go beyond the traditional user inserted feedback to include facial recognition of reactions. So you'll be able to tell if someone is bored, skeptical, distracted, or enthusiastic. This will be controversial, but it will come over time and we'll have to all learn how to keep our poker faces on during meetings. Participant reactions through facial recognition will be a huge advantage to marketing and sales. How great would it be to get an engagement score at the end of a webinar to target those who seem most interested in the presentation? So virtual meetings are getting much better. And at some point in the future, they may even rival in-person environments. There's a lot happening and IT organizations need to stay current on developments and determine if those developments can provide an organization with a competitive advantage. This is a great way for IT leaders to show their value and ability to be responsive to their customers. If you'd like to find out more about virtual meeting technologies, feel free to send me a note. My contact information is in the description of this video. And if you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up. And if you'd like to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is to hit the subscribe button. That will put my videos in your feed and you can come back here whenever it's convenient. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.